Look at that smile on his face. Oh, he's happy. This is the, the place he loves to come. In fact, there used to be these three. Oh, hey, by the way, I'll let you in on what's going on. Here, I'm taking you with us too. We're at Huntington Central Park in Huntington Beach, California, and out for a walk that's, oh, for me, it's well needed. The winter weight is still sitting on and I gotta get it off. But anyways, when this guy was a little pup, he used to be able to come down here, he'd jump up on this one, jump from that one to that one to that one to that one, turn around and then jump back. <laughs> And well, no, he's got hip problems now. Somewhere in my vault, here it is. Okay, up this one. Come on, let's go up. Okay, up this one, up that one. Good dog. Let's see, go backwards now. Okay, come on, up this one. Up, now up this one. Last one, last one right here. Up. Good boy, look at me. Look at me. Shake. Shake pants. Hey, you not pay attention. Shake. Yeah, yeah, that dog and I are so intertwined. He's been with me for so long that, uh, well, he helped me back from the point of death. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, new friend of the show. This is Jamie. Hi, guys. She's from uh, Dallas, Texas. Texas. And she's out here journeying and seeing. Wow. She's seeing what we're looking at right now. You like getting a taste of California? Yes, I do. It's beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah, we're, we're going for this walk. Check this out. Huntington Central Park, like I'm saying, is an eight mile park here in Huntington Beach that has fantastic wildlife areas, fantastic recreation areas, a great library, and just tons of things to do. If you haven't been here, you're gonna go now if you follow us the rest of the way through, the rest of the way through this video. And that's what we're doing today. No big fanfare, but, wait a minute. There we go, we needed tunes, there we go. <laughs> Now we're doing it. Snoop, how do you exist in a world with squirrels and you don't go after them? When you were a little puppy, you would have been all over them. Now, a friend of mine, Pat, yes. he, uh, he and I were down here with Tammy walking and we didn't have cameras with us, but this is something that the gardening society here in Huntington Beach has done. And they've gone all the way to the point of using their debris to make fencing That's and cool. stuff. Yeah. This whole garden is just gorgeous. You like flowers? Come back during the spring and this place is just massively blooming. Wow, what's this? I don't know, but look how delicate this is. I've never seen a fern like that. That's pretty. Still got gorgeous colors. Hey, hummingbird. Look at 
at the blooms on that tree. The horticulturists here. Oh! You're one of the horticulturists. Well, I'm one of the volunteers. Volunteers. What would life... Those are yellow bells. Those are gorgeous. So serene, so cool. However, can you hear the traffic going by? We are literally, oh gosh, we're 300 feet from the road. Yellow? Golly, I thought they were poppies at first. Did you treat a squirrel, Snoop? Get him! You getting squirrels? He's like, on to the next one. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> one time, on the outside of my vehicle, he used to run on the outside of my vehicle. And he'd run along with my really? vehicle. Yeah, and he'd, he liked to run about a mile to two miles. Jeez. And I I clocked him at 22 miles an hour oh, one time. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, this is the dog who loved to slide on slides. <laughs> well, he still has that same energy. Play in playgrounds. What you think, Snoop? I got a feeling he's not going to make it the full way today. Let's see. Well, he's having a blast doing it. Well, he's going to be tired by the end of the day. Lake number two. I always wanted to bring Pat here. Figured he'd like it. Okay. I... He would. Oh, I hope they got faster ones when I'm older. Because <laughs> I don't want to just ride in a little cart and go at eight miles an hour. Give me 25, 30 at least. And I want to <laughs> drift a little bit, you know? Get that back in, swinging out. <laughs> I know you're tired, but you just rested. You're going to be good. All right? Come on. Nope. I think Puppy's right at the end of his limit, and yet we're heading up that hill. He'll be dead by the time we go. Oh. God forbid I even said that. Shame on me. That'd be the worst day of my life. Nope. I might end up carrying him. Snoopy just gave us the, oh no, I'm not going up that hill. He has the desire, but I don't think he has the strength to do it. 12 year old dog. He's been a service dog to me. And uh, he's been with me a long time. And that dog is really, 
had the life. He's got heart too. Mad heart. He's watching Jamie go up the hill right now, but he doesn't want to go himself. Why am I sitting here? Well, I'm trying to make him rest, but he still won't rest. He's over there running around. So I guess I'm resting. This is one of the coolest little sections of the park because it goes back to the natural habitats found in this area. In fact, notice it's a raptor foraging habitat area. Don't disturb the raptors at nesting, roosting, and feeding sites. And then over there, equestrian center. Now I'm seeing new gardening areas. Oh man, I want to go over there. Yeah, I think he's going to be able to go. You like licorice? This is anise growing wild. Hey, the dog made it. And Snoopy too. Yeah, and he made Did you make it up the hill, big boy, huh? Yeah, I'm proud of Snoop. Snoop doggy dog, the puppy puppy D. Now, here's why. I kept saying I wanted to come up here. Look at this view. Boy, they've they've increased the equestrian center twice the size of what it was. Look at the size of those wings. Looking for a ground squirrel. Stay close, Snoop. Right there, zoom in. There's two raptors right there. Look how big they are. Ooh, they're fighting each other. It's the battle royale. Maybe that's not fighting. Maybe that's just husband and wife stuff. Yeah. Come on, baby. No, I got a headache. No eggs tonight. Besides, I'm eating a rodent. There's a third one, sir. Well, that's what it is. It's got it's got something and it's eating it. Oh, one of them has something. Yeah. Man, they're as big as turkeys, aren't they? Oh, there's another one coming in. Yeah, they're like a turkey vulture. Yep, there's another one. The gang's all here. Yeah, they're turkey vultures. Wow, okay, what is this? Meet our horses, first Sunday of every month. Horse sanctuary and rescue. Oh, I thought they ex expanded. How very cool. Knott's Berry Farm has a horse rescue program going on. Oh, really? Yeah, Pat and I got to go back and tour it. They had 40, they have 45 uh, race horses. And they use them in the park to uh, actually uh, for actual working horses. I was like, is that fake? <laughs> Snowy egret. There are so many different types of tacos and so many different places to have them. You can pay $30 and upwards for a taco dinner, but then you can buy dollar roadside tacos anywhere. And the experience in between is so diverse and so different, but taco becomes the perfect food. And here in Huntington Beach, last year they opened up a place called Tom Boy's, Tim Boy's Tacos, Tom Boy's Tacos, something like that. It's a real silly generic name. 
but they have their own taco and taco shells that, well, it's going to give you your first taste of Southern California, Jake. I'm excited. I'm so excited to try these. I know you're used to this. I've no, I never see this. I'm thinking this is a normal day and this is your first time to Surf City, USA. Oh my God. So cool. Huntington Beach, the Huntington Beach Pier, uh, the home of surfing. Now, is that the view of the water? And we're waiting for these munchy tacos to come out. Tom Boy Tacos. Jim Boy. Is it Jim Boy or Tom Boy? It's Jim Boy. Okay, it's Jim Boy's tacos. Yeah. Jim Boy tacos. Yeah, it's not a true Mexican taco. It's a South Lake City taco that came out here to the West Coast. And they use ground beef, but it's oh, This is a different taco. So, you devoured all those tacos, Snoop Doggy Dog. Was it good? Oh, now you won't be on camera? Oh, was it good? Good for now. Can I get a woof? Can you say woof? <laughs> woof? Somebody approved. And the salsa. Pretty awful good salsa. Very good. Gotta have good salsa for a taco. You made a parmesan mess. Yes, which is good. Because it was good. We gotta go check out Huntington. This is one of the best surfers in modern day history. Shout yourself out. What's up? Shout yourself out. Oh, Nick Squed is on Instagram. Right. Thanks, Nick. Four two 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 of your lemonades. Four five two. Okay, I think we we are pushing. What do you think about the six mile mark today? I think so. Yeah, about six miles, maybe maybe seven. Not just us, Snoop too. Oh yeah, no, poor Snoop. That. But uh, we walked all over. 
Yeah, I think the girl in us wanted to come in here. <laughs> and don't tell Tammy she'd be so mad she loves stuff like this. Look at this. She would be lost. Puka, puka, yeah. When I was a teenager growing up, I had the really nice puka, puka necklace, surfboard on the end of it. Have to have one of those? I think so, especially growing <laughs> up in Huntington Beach in the 70s. Yeah. And man, when you get older, you want one of these. Look at that. That is so pretty. Okay, so we're almost back to the vehicle. We're all pissed. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyways, all I'll say is Jamie and I will say, see you later. Subscribe, like, comment. I mean, blow, the, blow it up. And uh, we'll catch you on the next Illuminator 5.9.